Okay, I'm going to do a boat series, um, and this is going to be titled Flat Earth and the Mirroring Water Plane. Um, these videos um, that I'm going to put out, um, I'm going to put them out in part one all the way to when I actually end my day. Um, these videos are from um, about 9.07 is the first video, and... Um, I videotape till about 2.21 p.m. So I'm from a.m. to p.m. And this is on uh, July 9th, 2016. Um, my videos are going to give you a perspective of this mirroring water plane. Um, and I hope that your eyes um, work well in it. Um, I let you see my observations of this water, this water plane. And it is a mirroring. Um, it was a very nice day uh, this day. Um, there was some clouds in the morning that um, did block a lot of the sun. So I didn't have the glare of the sun to deal with. Um, I could see my screen better. Um, I'm looking at this little 2x2 two two screen. Um, it's about as big as that screen is, I believe, um, on my camera. And it is very hard to actually see some things that are farther out there. Uh, when I have the sun blaring behind me or, or blaring at um, on my screen um, but my videos are going to show you a different perspective uh, because I've got boats out here this is boat heaven today uh, I believe there was a lot of people out scalloping um, so boat haven or boat heaven whichever you prefer um, but my whole video is to show you this mirroring uh, water plane and see what you think and um, give you an idea of how the water works. Um, and a lot of videos, you know, you, you watch them and I, I really don't try to explain what I'm seeing. Um, so I, I'm going to try to explain what I see, um, especially with this mirroring. Um, People say, well, you know, you can't see the bottom of the boat because of uh, the curvature of Earth. But this is not what we're actually seeing. Um, you see these boats up on plane, you see the whole boat. Um, so, you know, when does the boat go over the curvature of Earth? Um, you, you will see these go out to eye level um, to uh, my camera being approximately... Uh, six to seven feet from the water line. Uh, I am up on a seawall um, and again this morning was very nice. The water was calm. There wasn't a whole lot of wind um, so I could watch these boats going out. Not only in this series of boat videos that I'm going to put out um, you will also um, see not only the boats going out to the uh, vanishing point um, or almost to the vanishing point um, you will also see them coming back in. So I, I give you a perspective both ways and then you will see other boats out at different distances to give you an idea um, of how far out these boats actually are. Um, so I, I have my camera on manual focus um, and sometimes that um, does kind of distort um, the video but I, I Trying to video and keep it in focus is, is pretty tough to do when you're um, tracking a moving object. So, <clears throat> you know, I, I do my best. So some of them, you're going to see them a little blurry, but then I do uh, uh, get them into focus. Um, and this is one of the things that I, I, I was thinking about when I was uh, watching my own videos. I said, uh, think about a, uh, at looking at a mirror on a sharp angle and your vision is bouncing off the mirror so you don't see the bottom um, end of the boat um, but you don't see the bottom off the boat at the angle but as the boat gets closer you begin to see their um, their whole boat 
Um, these boats go higher on the horizon, not lower. You can tell because you can compare uh, the boats uh, with the other boats that are closer. Um, so these boats just get smaller and smaller and keep blending into their own reflection, uh, which their own reflection also helps distort the boat. It's not just the atmosphere alone, it's the mirroring effect of the water. Um, now, again, you can look at these boats and somebody will say, Am I, oh, that's just a mirage, but I follow these boats off the visible water plane up onto the mirroring water plane and then you see this mirroring effect occur and you see the, these two items, the, the boat itself and the reflection of the boat melt into each other the farther they go away. Uh, another thing that I was thinking about was, you know, I used to watch third phase of the moon and they would show you these UFOs on top of the water, uh, you know, um, out, uh, out over the water. And, you know, these things look like UFOs. And, you know, going back thinking about watching these videos of third phase of the moon, I said, wow, these are exactly what they were showing as being UFOs. So, you know... Um, are there UFOs? Well, I'm sure that we have um, some really good technology, but these are actually boats. And in these videos that Third Phase of the Moon put out as UFOs are boats. So, it gives me a different perspective, too, of what I actually see when I'm looking out upon the horizon. Um, how these boats just shrink, shrink, shrink. And that's the wrong word. They just get farther and smaller. Um, just like looking down a road with telephone poles, the farther out they go, the shorter those poles get, even though they're all the same size. So, um, I call it a compression. Um, the farther you go out, um, the telephone poles get compressed to shorter and shorter. Well, the same way with these boats, they get shorter and shorter, but they're also um, having a mirroring effect on the water so they just blend into their own reflection so I don't try to explain uh, my videos that much and maybe I should explain what I see and then you know you can compare it to what you see again these are my own boat observations and my own observations of what I see so I'll leave it up to you the viewer to make up your own mind on what you actually see um, and the rest of my videos, you will just hear me talking as I'm doing the video. Um, and I'm going to leave most of them like that. Every now and then I might uh, insert my opinion. Thank you for watching. My goal is sometimes to uh, catch these boats going into the vanishing point and also emerging from the van uh, vanishing point. Uh, the ones emerging from the vanishing point are much harder to capture um, because they're much harder to see. Um, but um, I do do a good job, I think, in showing you some that are at a long distance coming back in. And I do show you these ones that are going, in, going into the vanishing point. Again, I, I do appreciate the people that do watch. I appreciate the people that do subscribe to me. And my observations are for everybody to, to use if you like to use them. Um, I, I guess I'm not going to copyright them because, you know, everybody sh should be able to see these and everybody should be able to make up their own mind on what they're actually seeing. So I, I leave it up to the opinion of the viewer on what they see. But don't come on my channel trolling me and calling me an idiot. There's the videos that you watch yourself. Again, thanks for watching. That's a hauling ass pontoon boat, I'll tell you that.
big boat. No, he's not even running in the channel here. He's going to Hernando Beach. I want to get one out in the channel. Going straight away from me. Sun's coming out. Back off this thing so I can see what the heck I'm shooting at. I got on manual focus. <coughs> My screen's dirty now. It's gonna get shaking a little bit but here. Let me wipe my screen off so I can see what the hell I'm looking at myself.
Damn, I think he just disappeared. another boat. There's all kinds of boats out here today. Tons of them. I still see them, barely. Barely see them. screen I don't know if I can see him still screen off and I'm going to shift my camera over just a little bit to get in the shade here I might be able to see a little bit better Shut the camera up to get the focus a little bit better on it. A couple of big boats, but I don't want to follow that one.
holes in them. acting touchy today. I forgot when I got down here it was, um, let me see what time it is right now, 9.30 a.m. nail in the shrinking coffin. <laughs> and look at that reflection. I wish I would have got out here first thing this morning. Because you'll see how the, the angle of the sun's light um, helps with this uh, mirroring effect. side of that bowl. Trying to get the best focus on it too. I'm using the manual focus, of course. There's so many boats out there. I look out there with my eyes, I ain't sure which one I'm on, but I think I see the one I'm on. There should be a, a red marker coming up here to the right, and the bird track. Yep, that's it. And here's the distortion starting. Let's see if I can't. to keep track and work the manual focus. Watch out as the white on his boat starts just reflecting the sun. out so far it's hard to get a good focus on it. Oh shit. Come on, get him back in this screen. There we go. Okay, that's probably about as good as I'm gonna get on the focus right at this point.
going into the I can't see it no more hardly get one last view maybe of it here there it is barely barely see it and as far as I can see on my viewfinder he's gone invisible There's another boat. catch one coming in. Gotta be some guys coming back in. Another big boat heading out. this water the way it uh, how smooth it is out there I mean it is smooth Thank <laughs> you. 
that boat stopped right in front of it, blocking me out. <laughs> Alright, get out of the way, buddy. I see this boat. There it goes. It's gonna disappear here. <laughs> Gone. Nothing ever went over no curve. Just disappeared into the mist. All the boats. They are everywhere. All different sizes because they're all out in different distances. <laughs> 